Hello and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Hardcore. My name is Saiken and we're playing World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore uh, in an installment that we call Diaries of Death. Originally it started with uh, the uh, game Skyrim Requiem Dead is Dead and now it has transitioned to World of Warcraft. In the first installment of uh, this uh, series we have seen me take on uh, the game as a frost mage, uh, undead frost mage on Horde. And in the second installment, we are going to go with whatever you decided I should play. And drum roll, drum roll, you decided that we are going with a paladin. So that means for once we are alliance. And uh, number two, we do have the selection between a human and a dwarf. Uh, let's shortly go of, over the pros and cons. As a human, we got increased spirit for a bit of a better uh, uh, regeneration. And we have an inherent advantage with swords and maces, which isn't too bad. But uh, I don't want to level a retribution paladin. We're going to see something different. So these bonuses, albeit interesting, might not be as great as uh, the bonuses of the dwarf. Um, stone form in particular is uh, interesting as it allows us to cleanse poison and a couple of other nasty effects. Granted, our kit allows that uh, anyways, but uh, it's always good to have a little extra. On top of that, we're resistant to frost. That's not bad at all. The other things are gimmicks. Anyway, so we're going to play self-found on this one in order to increase the challenge a little bit. We cannot trade with others. We cannot send mail or receive mail from other players. And we cannot buy or sell anything in the auction house. So it's pretty much a harder version. In terms of uh, a proper uh, facial look for our dwarf, let's play a Durger, a dark dwarf. Uh, which also means we need uh, proper uh, light hair color. I like uh, what I'm seeing. Maybe a different face. Uh, they are all looking grudgy as hell. Okay, this one here uh, seems to be the nicest among the bunch. And since you guys did uh, not come up with a proper name, although I was asking for it, we're going with uh, uh, a simple... Uh, Psych and heals. In this case, we're potentially going to level partially as a healer, partially as uh, protection. So we're going to see about that. Let's uh, start the character. We're playing on Stitches, the official uh, World of Warcraft hardcore, one of the two uh, official World of Warcraft hardcore servers. As always, when we're doing that, warning, uh, it, uh, under no circumstances will they restore the character. That's fine. So let's dive into it. The stoic dwarves of Ironforge spent countless generations mining treasures from deep within the earth. Hidden within their impregnable stronghold of Ironforge Mountain, they rarely ventured beyond the wintry peaks of Dunmora. Recently, however, the dwarves unearthed a series of ruins that held secrets to their ancient heritage. Driven to discover the truth about his people's fabled origins, the great king Magni Bronzebeard ordered that the dwarves shift their industry from mining to archaeology. As part of the Grand Alliance, the stalwart dwarven armies have been called away to battle the merciless horde in faraway lands. In these perilous times, the defense of the mountain kingdom falls to brave dwarves like you. The secrets of the ancient and the very mountains are your strength. The future of your people is in your hands. All right, so let's set up the interface. Well, the series already starts perfect <laughs> because I <laughs> clicked on Voria. We're going to uh, do uh, the exact same as before. Well, similar, not the exact same. Durger, it is. Uh, I would like a somewhat friendly face. Okay, that looks uh, palatable and nice little uh, darkish skin color. I like that. So we're being self-found yet again, and it is uh, Psych and Heals. So let's try this again. Good, here we start. 
after uh, restarting once we got our nice little pellet and hammer and we are going to jump right into uh, the quests a couple of just starter uh, quests all around Woven Outfitters uh, forces us to kill a few timber wolves and we're going to do exactly that so Paladin DPS incoming <laughs> I like how at the beginning of the game everything is just neutral so that you really don't accidentally pull anything. As always, I learned a little bit in the last playthroughs um, and I will make the leveling process a bit uh, more engaging so we're going to fast forward um, hopefully most of the stuff that is that interesting. We're going to uh, focus very much on the stuff that is interesting. I'll oftentimes do a summary um, of uh, the quests and just do the hand in. Additionally, I think I'll uh, do a couple of challenges in between. Those can be like, self imposed challenges, as in uh, find, uh, fighting uh, elite quests, alone. Uh, something along those lines, just to increase the threat level and potential or. Uh, force myself to go into caves more often uh, just uh, so just so that uh, we need to survive essentially dangerous situations uh, in other words not play ultra safe the entire time for the sake of a bit more engaging content so let me fast forward we're finishing the videos here good after an initial slaughter of uh, the wolves we come to the Dwarven Outfitter, everything's good. We're of course picking up uh, the male reward and are taking the follow-up uh, quests. Male reward also means we got a uh, nice new pair of gloves and we need to go over here and here. Very good, let's go. Shortly talking with a Paladin Trainer, game is giving us a chance to train, but we don't even have 10 uh, copper so far. Let's maybe sell something. Good, that'll at least give us the first skill. Devotion Aura, thank you. Good, with Devotion Aura, we got a nice little 55 extra armor and we will need that because now it's time to destroy trucks. Plenty thereof, 12 trucks need to die. Let me go to work. Grinding away as a paladin is very much out attacking at its finest and it's just going to be uh, slower over time so we will need to find ways of dealing with that and retribution being one of it like 200 uh, weapons are fine but I think I do have a pretty fair concept of how we want to build this character more about it a little bit later in the playthrough. Okay so let's trade in uh, the next quest and there we go level three gosh we are fast let's continue our uh, rampage with uh, picking up more quests and more quests and even more quests okay so we're handing in a letter quest and are getting a couple of follow-ups including small craig boars which are these guys here uh, so let's get the uh, let's get them down and there's another delivery plus some bolts that we need to get 12 killed pigs later we can finally pick up leather trousers i was hoping for mail but it is what it is let's move on with uh, getting felix box then we trade in and then we go over here all right funnily enough uh, the box is indeed protected by the first aggro mob so the game is now showing us in an easy to understand way how to deal with these mobs unfortunately i don't have a great way of preventing them from running at the moment that'll come a little bit later but yeah, we're going to clear this house, get the box right here, and are on our very way. Good, time to pick up the box. 
and then we're out of here first camp done successfully so let's get the second and third and then go take the next quest box number two very good and box number three let's go all of the tools available let's trade in the quests and we are on our way to the level quests essentially making uh, sure that we use our level four i think that we now do have in order to get new skills as well up us there is a time quest uh, they are asking us to bring a dwarf a morning brew and i can understand i would be grumpy as well if i wouldn't get my morning brew so important quests for lobby characters Felix gives us a bit of money. Well, that's never wrong. Appreciate that, Felix. Although 50 copper are not a lot. Now the game is showing us basically where you can uh, level as a non paladin. Fair enough. Not really needed for us because we are a warrior of the light. Therefore, we're of course leveling as a paladin. And I should get some more, uh, some more money. But I should also keep uh, the chainmail that is dropping. Very good. So. Good, we got ourselves uh, Blessing of Might, which is a perfect self buff, short one, but nonetheless uh, good. Increases our attack power uh, combined with our seal, that is a really short term buff, and our judgment, which is an unleash. We finally are upgrading our DPS substantially. So let's bring back the mug and uh, kill a couple of whelps. All right, time for us and our increased strengths to demonstrate just how mighty we can be. Nuking takes some time, but... We're slowly but surely getting there. Very good, so... That's what I will continue to do, grind through it and maybe enter this cave. All right, we successfully entered the cave. Unfortunately, said cave is relatively full of uh, nasty, nasty enemies. So we got to be a bit careful here. That's a typical situation where you can go out if you're not uh, paying close attention. Grim near the cold is uh, the boss here and he's uh, protecting his treasure as he was shot. Before we're engaged with him though, let's just uh, clear out the path in case things are going very much wrong. Yes, unfortunately be pulled by the hunter, but it is what it is. We'll get the treasure. And we're we'll make our way out. Alright. Good, after our work is done, we can get a Another two-handed hammer since the one that we are using has worked so well might as well stay with him for now before realizing that there is a stolen uh, journal in there uh, which requires us to potentially kill the boss so off we go back into the cave a little time later we're fighting directly against uh, the boss 
get his journal and get out of here and here we go get a nice little shield you know what why not inventory is unfortunately full i'm going to use uh I'll get rid of uh, the least valuable stuff and we're selling and then we're going for the next quest all right the man word we are trading in a couple of our quests in case you're wondering why there is this horn sound from time to time i do have one add-on that is called unit scan has a curated list of uh, dangerous enemies. Those uh, uh, those uh, rocks are indeed dangerous, but uh, not the initial ones. So that's why it is basically alarming. It's good. We got our first um, task to go over uh, there there will be another merchant uh, and trainer for us as well and also an option to put our heart stone there got ourselves uh, solidly uh, six so we are getting new skills alrighty so we got the report we find ourselves in a new camp and right here we're going to take on a few new quests uh, this is the official kind of main quest location of the starting uh, region everything else was just introduction to the game mechanics uh, so far we're going strong level six so it's time for us to learn a couple more um, abilities but before we do that Let's go to the innkeeper. We're taking the spring water. And that's just the innkeeper assistant. The actual innkeeper is over here. Make this our home. Yes, please. Good. And it is now that we learned divine protection, one of the signature abilities <coughs> of the paladin, aka the bubble. So let's get the remaining quests over here. All right, back. So I needed to take a small break, but uh, we are continuing and it is more to grind. Look at that, boar meat, thick boar fur, crab boar, and we got it all. Let's uh, immediately start with just getting all of the boars down. Young black bears. There is a rare <laughs> Fabulous. Maybe we can make our way towards uh, that guy. Anyways, I'll be continuing uh, the start of the wildlife here and fast forward a, a little bit for you. Good. After a bit back and forth, I am at least yeah, not done, but I have advanced to my animal slaughtering. Yeah. Slowly but surely coming to the Vendigos over here. So, we're still continuing to just grind, 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 uh, mob after mob. And the Paladin is very good at uh, that, almost no downtime. And as long as you're staying with one mob, uh, he does not have a at all. And one thing that I will say though is Paladins are not necessarily great at moving the movement speed of enemies, so runners uh, will be an issue. And we got 
gotta make sure that with our stun and the other abilities that we have, uh, to slow enemies down, that we will be okay. All right, Yetis. There is a boss Yeti here. This guy. But for now, all we need to do is get eighty Yetis. I'll fast forward the little grinding here. Good after finishing the quest inside. Uh, we indeed have now leveled to level 7. Very good. Uh, that was nice. Okay, well, level 7, we can showcase how we can go too. Early in the process, stone form because that increases our armor. And you can see against two, I barely lost a third of my health. Well, see, that is important on the other hand. Thank you. First uh, potion. Appreciate that a lot. And we're just maximizing uh, the value of what we're getting. Okay, cool. So next up, we got our rums shot something something down here. There we go, Rumbershot's ammunition. And let's get the remaining crack bore ribs, and then I think it's a good time to start trading in. <laughs> we have no further backpacks. We definitely need more backpacks. All right, fast forwarding for you. All right, See you here soon. is your Pick ammunition. Your on the ground. Thank you. We're here. Let's get rid of the stuff that we don't need, which is almost everything. I'll keep the stingy wolf meat because I know I know that that is going to be. Uh, palatable as a food and I'm going to keep the Malachia aside Save because we will require quite a few of these gemstones Locked for unloaded. our recipes as we're going engineering with this character um, gemstones are difficult to come by as a self-found character so let's trade in uh, the rest get another request and we can even uh, buy the remaining skills that we have not yet bought. Good. <clears throat> Back at the trainer. We get Holy Light and the Seal. Good. So we got the Seal of the Crusader, which uh, really is a damaging uh, seal. Too far away. Very nice. Trade-in of the last quest and take uh, another quest over here. Here there. Well, right, here we go with the Vendigo quest. No follow-up, interesting. Could have sworn uh, that there would be a follow-up, but whatever. We gotta kill boars again. Um, Frostmane hunters. Yeah, plenty of targets still. Uh, let's continue the, gr uh, the grind. All right, after finally killing many, many, many boars, uh, we are now making our way to the Frost Main Headhunters. A couple of trolls here, and uh, those should be the first actual hostile enemies. Maybe we'll get two more quests over here first, and then we're going to the trolls. All right, in it's the middle of nowhere, the there's another pack, uh, camp where we're getting two quests. What's on your mind? 
with the rivals and another quest. So first of all, the frost mains. Then we do have shiver weed, and we need to do something over there. Fair enough. Let's go with the flow and do the uh, trolls first. Good, we arrived at the camp of the trolls, and as you can see, uh, it's a red hot spot for good reasons. Uh, these guys run away. Uh, that's a big camp. Difficult uh, to pull that. But yeah, not a problem if you do it right. Got ourselves some fairy fire. Of course, it's nasty for melee class. Good. All we need to do is fight through these guys. Matter of fact, not fight through these guys. We need to get. Headhunters and uh, need to go into the hole. So oh, it's a, a quest in a cave. Well, we're going to do exactly that. So I mentioned I wanted to take a few more risks in this playthrough, so these are definitely out of uh, question. We just need to make sure that we're playing the quest, uh, the cave correctly. Gosh, our weapon is bad. We're not doing uh, dealing a lot of damage. We would definitely need an upgrade soon. Okay, so headhunters are the ones that we need. But there are plenty others. And there is a chest in the middle of the cave. Careful that we're not pulling too many at once. Good, we already explored the cave. Now it's a matter of killing uh, the headhunters. and then we're up there. We also under the fortress, so this is definitely as dangerous as it gets. Cave under level That's a good recipe for the system. Cannot take two of uh, these guys. Uh, that'll be a little bit too much. So what we'll need to do is uh, sing a pullback. fan of that situation. Pull them all the way to the back.
There we go, level 8. At least the, um, the orange ones just turned normal. Yellow. Good, careful and not aggroing uh, much more. I will continue to just uh, kill the last headhunters and then we're out of here. All right, next up, we are fighting against a couple of leper gnomes in and around the proximity of Gnome Rigan. And in true Gnome Rigan fashion, it starts with a good old double. Let's get stone form. Just a little bit extra armor. And yeah, we can theoretically also go through two spells, even though they are a little bit higher level than we are. That spell is a mini I can't cast that yet. That's still recharging. Alright, fantastic. So, let me grind uh, through these little leper gnomes we need gear and cogs i think the cogs uh, were on the ground ish uh, but the gear is definitely not close to them okay these little leper gnomes uh, definitely uh, pose a bigger challenge than expected they are the third uh, deadliest being in the zone and i do understand why they do have a pretty sizable aggro zone they run after you they have a couple of nasty abilities we found ourselves a small brown uh, pouch uh, which is i suppose good enough for now it's self found we will need to think about how we're dealing with all of uh, the requirements for backpacks one way of going about it is essentially starting with uh, tailoring at uh, the very beginning and then kind of making your own bags as uh, you go uh, then you do have a second uh, profession that you could use uh, could be mining in my case and uh, that would that mean we're um, just banking all of uh, the the ore and are smelting it down and essentially just banking it really but there's an astute problem with it because I think we're going to run out of space. So maybe we just have to bite the bullet and buy backpacks the old fashioned way at the back merchant. Remember, we can't use the auction house. Uh, so that and maybe a couple of uh, quests that could uh, give us backpacks. I'll look that up and see how our plan is going to develop over time. For starters, we can definitely use backpacks from the merchant and then I'll just come up with uh, something all right time for trade in great to meet you uh, you know let's take a shot off with now you because watch your back we might end up with a one hand weapon what's on your mind Mine. Safe travels. Good follow-up quests uh, requires us to deliver a report uh, that we can easily do. But we have a few more quests to trade in, and we get new skills if I'm correct. Yeah. First things first. Parry, purify, and hammer of justice. Oh, that's good. Safe travel. Good. So we got our first uh, and very few only crowd control a three second stun and we got parry which is passive that's good uh, plus we got our first cleanse purify uh, that removes uh, disease uh, uh, diseases and poisons can come in very handy not everybody is a dwarf and can shake it off like we can all right um, moving on uh, to the other quests real quick. Mitchell. Razzle here. Alrighty then. Cogs. That is good. You know, a 
but we'll just take Be the cloak. seeing you! It's a little bit better than the one that we're having. Can I help you? And I think there is no follow-up quest. Or is there? Gnomes are always funny, man. He just discovered electricity, I suppose. And we discovered yet another quest to trade in. Nor mine. Be good. Safe travel. See you soon. Finally getting rid of all of the food. And there's even yet another quest that we should trade in. But I tell you what, I think um, we have reached a point where we can have a very normal break. Uh, this seems to be a good end of episode number one. Made it all the way to level eight, uh, got half of the zone done. Uh, the Paladin is still staying strong, but we had a couple of minorly close calls. Specifically, our weapon needs a substantial upgrade. So we're going to see how that is going to go. For now, I think- I can't we're, use that yet. Now we can't even use a one hand. Uh, X. Oh, that is unfortunate. All right. With that, we're logging out and uh, seeing you all. Hopefully, in the next episode. Goodbye.